Monadic Evolution by H.P. Blavatsky. This piece is taken from Volume 3 of The Secret Doctrine, which was posthumously compiled from H.P. Blavatsky's writings and published in 1897. It is read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. Monadic Evolution The Kumaras do not direct the evolution of the lunar Petris. To understand the latter, we might take the analogy of the blood. The blood may be compared to the universal life principle, the corpuscles to the monads. The different kinds of corpuscles are the same as the various classes of monads and various kingdoms, not, however, because of their essence being different, but because of the environment in which they are. The chaya is the permanent seed, and Weissman, in his hereditary germ theory, is very near truth. I was asked whether there was one ego to one permanent chaya seed, oversouling it in a series of incarnations. The answer was, no, it is heaven and earth kissing each other. The animal souls are in temporary forms and shells in which they gain experience, and in which they prepare materials for higher evolution. Until the age of seven, the astral atavic germ forms and moulds the body. After that, the body forms the astral. The astral and the mind mutually react on each other. The meaning of the passage in the Upanishads, where it says that the gods feed on men, is that the higher ego obtains its earth experience through the lower.